Well, here's a recap of the new system, and like I said, it's a 12 volt system. That's a 2,500 watt inverter. That's a remote weather station console that's sitting on top of it, and in the middle is a uh, 12 volt wind solar hybrid controller. It's the new programmable one, and in the background there, those three green batteries are 40 ampere hour, and. Uh, you can see down the side there, there's a little blue box, that's the uh, watt meter for the solar coming through. That's separate from everything else. And I changed the turbine, the turbine was really around about 5 meters up, as you go down here and have a look. And I've moved it up about a meter and it's got about 1 to 2 volts more uh, per wind speed of what I find on the weather console and that system there uh, allows it to sit above the air conditioner that now sits above the air conditioner and uh, above the chimney because that turbulence really brought the, the wind speed down give that some time to focus there yeah, now getting a bit of wind up again and see what it says on the console. Now that may be possible. Let's see a bit more charge going in. I went down here. That would be that there. I'm just going to focus now. Now 7.2 volt, 0.3 amp. Like I said, it does put a little bit in down below the rating with the MPPT. It seems to have comfortably settled into what it's doing there. There was uh, more wind this afternoon, but uh, it's quieted down since. All in all, it appears to be running quite well. So. That system there of putting that up six metres is uh, just to prevent the, uh, the turbulence. Because the, there are enough trees around this, around the turbine anyhow. There's a bit of a job there. It's only a temporary test system that I've put up. Uh, none of this is housed properly. It's just sitting and waiting. And the, uh, the inverter does operate things, it, but it really requires about a minimum you could get away with this 4000 watt inverter for uh, constant power output or a 5000 watt would be ideal because it didn't quite drive some things but uh, they're just below that and only quite switched off the microwave. The microwave I happen to find, the microwave you see in the videos, I happen to find uh, really draws 3600 watts, it's a 32 litre but you know, there's no guarantee for the smaller microwaves that that would ever be below 2,500 watts. So it's really a point to go and find a new uh, inverter. Uh, the battery voltage there is an interesting point about all of this too. In the controller there, that says 13.1 volts. Um, I reset the uh, float voltage to 14.5 volts, and the the overcharge to around 15 um, and 14.9 volts for recovery. Uh, the reason for that is the battery there does actually shoot up in voltage to things like 14.5 volts, 14.8 volts and uh, the as you can see there it's 61 percent capacity now, 62 percent capacity and that's it, that changing there, that's what happens when it's charging a bit that can go up to about 83 percent and then the battery voltage drops right back down after it ceases to charge but you know, that takes about 10 to 20 minutes for the uh, the battery to to come back down to settle back down after some charging has occurred uh, the solar is quite constant it doesn't really bother it but when the wind turbine commits any charging that 61% might even go back to something like 58% if there's no wind for a while. 
so that's just a, just a property of the batteries when they charge and uh, the same goes for uh, the uh, putting the wind turbine up another meter you can see in the other um, videos that the wind turbine is sitting much lower so it's just above the roof and uh, there are all sorts of obstructions on the roof of this house here so putting it up another metre gave it one to two volts more at the same sort of wind speed and it's not a recommended way of putting one up because you need to guy wire them it's only because what you've seen there is only because it's a test system and I know it will do enough I've been around 8 gauge wire and tie wire and all sorts of types of wire for tying things all of my life so I know it'll hold but it's only temporary and it's no good on the bearings because if you watch it when it is in the wind it does shake a little bit it vibrates a bit and that's no good for the bearings it's not the sort of thing to do in a permanent situation it's not particularly violent but uh, that's not a good idea it's only for a few days <laughs>